Hello and welcome to a session of Fit Essentials. My name is Shauna. I'll be taking you through class. Let's go ahead and come to our feet for some breathing. All right, we're gonna start with what's called some spinal cord breathing. So you're gonna have your feet about hip width apart. You're gonna start by, as you breathe in, you're gonna open through your chest and shoulders. So arms in front here, opening, kind of pulling those elbows back. And now as we exhale, you're gonna to start to curl yourself forward. Exhale, pull your chin into your chest, pull your elbows down into your chest, kind of round your back. And then we'll do that a few more times. Breathe in, open, lift the chest, lift the head and neck, pull the elbows back. And then as you exhale, bring the elbows together, round the body in the front, kind of tucking your hips under, pulling your belly button in. And let's do that twice more. Breathe in, open. Elbows back, lift the chest, lift the head, and exhale, round forward. Good job last time. Breathe and open, pulling those elbows back, lifting through the chest, and exhale, pull everything down and in. Very good, go ahead and bring yourself back up to upright. Have your toes pointing straight ahead, just underneath the hips, and we're gonna go into our Jefferson toe touch. So chin to the chest, pull the belly button in, slide the hands down the legs, kneeling down for the ankles, wherever your bottom position is here. And now breathe into the back of the body. Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, keep those knees a little bit bent. Hanging down one more breath here, breathe in. And breathe out. After that exhale, go ahead and start to push through your feet, tuck the hips under and gradually make your way back up to the top. Very good. From here, we're gonna bring the arms out to the sides, walk the feet a little bit wider. Then we're gonna bring the hands together in front of the body. And then nice and gentle with that little bend in the knees, we're gonna get some torso rotations here. Turn your torso to one side and then bring it back to center and gradually take it over to the other side. Rotate your head as well. So you try to look over that side of the body. Let's go one more time each side. Back to center, take it to one side, turn with the head and back and taking it the other way. Fantastic, from here, side stretch, one hand on the hip, opposite arm's gonna reach up to overhead. You can just gently let the hip translate out to the side, get a nice stretch to the side body, and then down and switch. Same thing, other side, palm up. Again, just gently let that hip shift to the side as you reach over the head, looking up at the hand. One nice deep breath there, and then down and relax once more each side. Hand on the hip, reach, peering up, breathe, and release. Last time, second side. Keep that little bend in those knees, peering up, nice deep breath, and release. Fantastic, go ahead and shake it out, sidestep, and a little arm swing here. Shoulders back and down. Very good. All right, next we're gonna start to wake up those hamstrings a little bit more, going into some good morning. So toes pointing straight ahead, little bend in those knees, bring those hands behind the head. From there, we're gonna bow forward, pulling the belly button in, send the hips back, looking down towards the floor. Get it far enough to feel a little stretch in those hamstrings or about 90 degrees. So if you're pretty long in the hamstring, just go to your about parallel to the floor and then stand from there. We're gonna go between three and five, bowing forward. And as you stand tall, think about squeezing the glutes, squeeze the bum, one to two more. Good job, last one, over and up, fantastic. From there, we're gonna take your left foot, step it forward, your right foot back, and then just take both hands, reach up nice and tall to overhead, lifting up out of that chest and just keeping that front heel planted. We're just very gently gonna start to shift the hips forward, really focus to fire that back glute. If it helps you to put your hand there, get a little bit more of an engagement and then reaching, lifting. And from here, just add a little bit of a side bend. So I'm just bending my torso towards that front leg. Breathe in as you come back to the top and twice more. Exhale as you bend to the side. Good, breathe in and breathe out. Pushing that back hip forward, reaching it over, down and release. Beautiful, in between sides, you're gonna go behind the back stretch. Wide base stance, pull those hands together behind you, extend out those elbows, 
really think to keep the front ribs down. So you don't want to go sway back here and then root down into your legs, forward fold, pull those arms up to overhead. Just allow your head to be heavy here and breathe into the back. And when you're ready, tuck the hips under, make your way back up. Very good. And then now we're gonna go opposite side, hip flexor stretch. Step, step your right foot forward, left foot back. Beautiful. And then we're gonna reach both arms straight up to overhead. With that front foot firmly planted, shin vertical, start by pushing that back hip forward, keeping that chest up, eyes up. Good, shift it back, shift it forward. And then we'll add our side bends, bending to the side. Breathe in, back to center, twice more. Welcome, this is our second uh, leg. So make sure you balance yourself out on both sides. Great to see you this morning. Fantastic, and shake it out. All right, we're gonna practice a little bit of balance work while we warm up our ankles. So pull up through your midline, keep your hips nice and level, arms out to the side, with those shoulders back and down. And then we're gonna go into some ankle rolls here about five times each direction. Just having some awareness to keep up out of that hip and reverse directions there. Turn the ankle the other way. Nice. And go ahead and switch legs, same thing other side. Place that foot down, lift that knee, lifting up to that midline. About five or so in each direction. And taking it back. All right, very good. From the ankles to the wrist. Couple rolls there, waking up the wrist. Fantastic. From here, we're gonna make our way down to the floor. If you don't have, or if you do have, one of those shorter bands, we're gonna use this for the next piece. If you don't have it, it's all right. Just do the what you can without it, you'll still get benefit. To make our way down, we're gonna go into a couple sumo inchworms first. So wide base stance, root down into your legs. You're gonna reach down for the ground, walk it out to the top of the push up, and then midline nice and strong. Push through your hands, make your way back up to the top. We're gonna go between three and five. Again, bending into the legs, reaching down, nice strong plank position, and then walk yourself back. You can use it as another little hamstring opener, keeping the legs relatively straight as you walk your hands back up. A little bit of a hamstring stretch there, reaching up. Let's go one more time all the way up, and then we're gonna make our way down. If you want any kind of extra mat or anything, we're gonna be on our back for some glute bridges. And on the second round, we'll give the option to elevate the feet. So if you want to have a chair nearby, a bench or a box, we'll be utilizing that. Otherwise, go ahead and make your way down. If you do have a band, we're going to put both feet through the band. And today, a little bit variety. We're going to keep it below the knees. You can also do it above the knees, below the knees. Just activates the muscles a little bit differently. From here, we're going to lie on our back. Just gradually bring yourself down. Pull those shoulder blades into a good position. And then with the feet about hip width apart, we're gonna start nice and gradual here. Chin pulled in and then start to roll the belly button back. And then you're just gonna gradually lift the hips off the ground. So go ahead and join me. We're gonna go just shy of a minute here, pausing in the top and then gently lower down. Keep the feet about the wet length or width of your mat, excuse me. And if you're using that band, you're just very gently pushing your legs out against, lowering down. Up and pause in the top, down and relax. Very good. Just on your own, about another 20, 25 seconds here. As those hip flexors open, you can think about just driving the hips a little bit higher, making sure to stay nice and long in the low back. Remember to keep pushing out against the band if you have it. Fantastic, couple more, down. And drive it up, pausing in the top, no pinching in the back. If you get a little bit of a pinch, don't go quite as high. Down and release. Fantastic. If you're using the band, go ahead and slide one foot out. We're going to come onto our left side. So depending upon your experience, just do a regular side plank. Otherwise, we're going to do some side plank into a side lift. So if you know it, go ahead and join me. If not, come when you do. So we'll come up onto a side plank, hips and shoulders nice and high. We come down, start with one leg, lift your top leg to touch your hand, pushing up and forward, down, you kind of rotate back slightly onto your hip to lift that toe up. If that feels 
fairly simple for you to go one leg. Now push your left hand into the floor, lean back just a little bit more, and you can try for two. Up and pause, sitting back, rolling back, and lift those feet up. Good. Very nice. About 30 seconds in. Again, we're going to go almost a minute here, about 50 seconds. Make sure that elbow is in a good position. So we're stacked right underneath that shoulder, pausing in the top of that side plank, slightly rocking back onto that hip as you pull either one or two legs up and in. Good. And last one here. Very nice. Go ahead and rest and spin around. Same thing on the opposite side. All right. So get that elbow in good position, right elbow stacked underneath that right shoulder, feet out to the side. So you'll come to that side plank first, down, and then lay back either one leg or two legs. Make sure that your low back's not arching. As you pull one or two legs up, you want to think about pulling that belly button in towards the spine as you just gently lay back and be up. Good job. Coordinate that breathing. So I tend to breathe out as I go up. So I breathe out here into the side dip, breathe in as I lower, and then I exhale again as I pull my toes up. Fantastic. About 10 more seconds. Up and pause. Good side plank position, laying it back, pulling those toes together. Good job. Last one. And release. All right, we're gonna head back to our glute bridge. And you can feel out what you like. If you like the band below the knees, you can keep it there. If you want it above the knees, then move it up a little bit higher. Either keep your feet on the ground or feel free if you wanna elevate the feet this time. Shoulder blades back and down in two, one, whenever you're ready. Up and pause, down and relax. And try to think about kind of moving sequential. So as you lower down, kind of like pull the spine in, gradually put one spine, one level of your spine down at a time. Just trying to find a nice rhythm there. Very good. And then on the top of that bridge, you can make a point to pull the chin in towards the chest. Help stretch, stretch out the back of the neck. Very good, 30 seconds in, about 20 more to go. Okay, and lower those hamstrings in the back side of the body to wake up. We got some squats coming up in our next circuit. Go one more time, up and pause, down and release. Beautiful, if you're using the band, pull one foot out. We're going back to the left side. Alrighty, so stack that elbow underneath the shoulder. And two, one, if you're not quite ready, join us when you are. Side plank dip, lifting up, and then either one foot up or two. Remember not to progress the movements before you feel ready for it. So if the one leg up gives you a bit of a challenge, or if the two leg feels too much, you know, just stick with what you feel like you could definitely do properly. Coordinate that breathing, up and pause, down and lift. Very good. 30 seconds in, 20 to go. Looking up out of that bottom shoulder on the side plank, pulling the belly button in towards your spine on that side lift. Fantastic. And last one, two, one and release spin it around same thing other side very good pull that elbow right underneath the shoulder stack it well and three two one here we go up and pause down one leg or two good exhale on the up inhale as you lower down in between movements Good job, smile. Remind your body that this is a positive thing. Building in that smiling and just that positive energy with exercise. Make sure subconscious mind want to come back and do it again. Very good. 
Just under 10 seconds here. Let's get a couple more. Two, one, and relax. Good job. We're gonna go one more time back to that glute bridge. If you don't have a band and if you wanna go maybe a single leg glute bridge, you can do the glute bridge march or any of the first two options. So I'll demo the march this time. Otherwise your choice, feet elevated, feet flat, two, one. Here we go for the march. We hold our hips up and we try to keep them up the whole time. So it's a challenging exercise. Really bracing with the upper body as well. If you're doing that glute bridge march, so I'm pushing my hands down to the floor and my upper arms and upper back. Everything nice and solid, pushing that heel down, driving the knee up. And anytime you need a little bit of a break, just come on down and then come back up when you're ready. And there's the option. I'm just doing the knee up here, but I see some of you are doing the version I've done before, which is totally fine, where you lift the knee and extend the foot. Good. Kind of like that one too. It gives a little extra hamstring stretch. Just keep that nice, strong bridge. And two, one, and relax. Come on down. Last time on those side planks. So rolling onto that left side. Stack that elbow in two, one, here we go. Dip first, coming up, and then gently rotating back one leg or two. Up and hold. Nice work. There you go. Woo. All right, there's halfway, another 25 seconds. Nice job. Keep that breathing nice and consistent. Let's go a couple more here. Up and pause. Down and lift. Two, one, and transition. Good job. Spin it around. Last time. Elbow under the shoulder. Two, one. Join us when you're ready. Up and pause. Rolling back. Start with one or go right into two, however it feels good for your body. Nice. Good work, Diane. I like that. It's a good modification. Very good. As you start to get a little, little fatigued here, everybody continue to lift up out of that support shoulder. We're over halfway, getting those obliques firing, getting those hip stabilizers fired as I lose my balance and almost roll back. <laughs> Good job, 10 seconds left. Up and pause, down and shift. And release, fantastic. All right, we're gonna stay on down here, do a couple stretches. We're gonna start with the quad stretch. So you can either stay up on the elbow or feel free if you wanna go into an outstretched arm, grab that top foot, pull the heel back. There you go, just trying to bring the heel of the foot close to the glute. If you can touch, that's fantastic. That's what we're looking for. Be able to bring that heel to the glute. If not, just work on this one. We oftentimes get tight in our quads and hip flexors from just our lifestyle, sitting down quite a bit, driving in the car, Go ahead and release. Swing it around to the other side. And when our hip flexors and our quads get tight, it seems a little bit silly, but sometimes you can get some stiffness and some compensations in the low back because your hip flexors get too tight and they put some tension there. So if you want your low back to feel good, make sure also stretching your quads. Fantastic, another 10 seconds here, just gently pulling that foot back. Two, one, and release. Before we come up, let's go onto our back once more, and we'll just give a little bit more love to that low back area, knees up and together, and we're gonna gently go into two knee twists. So bringing both legs across the body, looking over the opposite shoulder. Use your midline strength to pull the legs up and across. Same thing, other side, turn your head in the other direction. 
And you get to choose. It's pretty common here to have like a little adjustment as you drop the knees to one side. You can choose if that feels good for your body right now or not. If not, then just don't go quite as far into that twist. Very good. And when you finish that with both sides, go ahead and hug the knees into the chest and you can just gently rock yourself side to side. All right, fantastic. From here, let's take it over. And we're gonna gradually make our way up to our feet. Grab your water along the way. All right, we're gonna get ready for some squatting and some bent over rows next. But I wanna give us a little bit more blood flow into the body before we get into it. So we're gonna start with some either step jacks or jump jacks, and we're gonna build in some stretching to prep for some squats in between. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and join me either some step jacks or jump jacks. We're gonna do two rounds of this little warm up circuit here. Very good, if you wanna add a little jumping, we got 15 seconds left on this one. There you go. Very good. And then either a skip or a march with a punch across the body. Fantastic. Knee nice and high. As you lift the knee, try to lift the toe and the whole foot as well. Good job. 15 seconds left. Wonderful. Almost there. Two, one. Bring it down to a walk. Next, we're gonna open up the inner thighs. But we're gonna start with a toe touch. So take your left foot, step it over in front of the right, hands on the thighs, chin to the chest, slide down, reaching down for the toes. I see right over the left. And then when you're ready, make your way on up. Coming up out of that, you're gonna take your right foot, step it nice and long, Tall chest, and we're gonna go into a little side lunge here. Lunging, I'm going to my right, so your choice whether you're going to the left or right. I had my right foot crossed in front, the same side I'm lunging to. I forgot exactly what I told you all. Sometimes I say opposite of me just so you can hear me. <laughs> Walk your feet in a little bit closer, slight toe out, and we're gonna go between three and five air squats. So setting the hips back, reaching the arms out, keeping your heels nice and planted. Very good. And just sink into this as your body feels ready. So heels down, chest up, working on that depth. There's three, four, I think one more. Very nice. And then we're gonna balance out the opposite side. So now I'm gonna go left foot, steps over in front of the right, standing tall, chin to the chest, reaching down for the toes. And you just feel how with this crossover on the foot, it changes up where you feel the stretch a little bit more in the outer hips. Breathing here. When you're ready, make your way back up to the top. Uncross the legs. And then now we're gonna go nice wide step with the left. Feet firmly planted. Reach those arms up for a counterbalance and just go into a little side lunge here. Lunging to your left or opposite, whatever you did last time. Heel down, knee pushing wide. Very good. When you're ready, walk the feet back in. Slight toe out. And one more set of air squats between three and five. And with that focus of the heels down, try not to let the toes lift up. So still push that big toe down with the heels planted. If you focus on the big toe, those four little toes tend to follow suit. All right. And then one more time with the blood flow. One more minute here, jumping jacks or step jacks whenever you're ready. Nice. If you want to jump, feel free. Final minute of this prep, and then we're going to get into our squat and bent over row. Oh, sorry, we got a thruster, thruster today. So I'm going to include a little overhead press with it. All right, two, one, march or skip. More like a running high knees, whatever you prefer. Fantastic, let that breathing be high. 10 more seconds. 
two, one, and relax. Alrighty, grab a drink. Knowing that we're going up to overhead or at least have the option of it, let's add one more stretch before we jump into it. So step your left foot forward, right foot back. You're gonna reach your right arm up. We're gonna bend that elbow, a little bit of an upper body stretch here. So you can shift into that hip like we did earlier and now side bending with that tricep stretch. So try to keep your neck and head as tall and as long as you can. We don't wanna necessarily curl forward here. So eyes up, chest up, and just bending to the side three to five times. Good job, shake it out. Same thing, opposite side. So now with your left foot back, you'll reach that left arm up, ribs down, midline engaged. I can fire that glue to that trail leg, bend the elbow, chest up and bending towards that front leg. Breathe in as you come back to center. Exhale as you take it into that side bend. Good, head up, eyes up. One more. Awesome, all right. So if you're not quite sure what we're doing, you can always watch the first round and join us when we're ready. We're gonna start on your left arm. It's gonna be a single arm dumbbell thruster. Starting here in 10. So we'll have the feet about hip width apart, just like our squat. Three, two, one, nice and controlled. You'll sit back into that squat and then drive straight up to overhead. Sinking back, chest tall and push through. Reach. Then coordinate that breathing. I typically breathe in as I lower, exhale as I drive up out of that squat. Good. Sinking back, driving tall. A couple more. And two, one, and rotate. Very nice. We're gonna go from that to a bed over row, same arm. So you can either support on a table or stand in a stagger stance. Two, one, here we go. Elbow comes nice and high above the torso. Reaching forward, shoulder blade back and down, elbow high towards your spine. And then similar breathing pattern. I'll breathe in as I reach forward and I exhale as I pull that elbow up and in. Good, less than 10. And then we're gonna repeat it on the right side, starting with the thruster. Two, one, and transition. Good job, we'll take 15 seconds. All right, so we'll set those feet about hip width apart, slight toe out, right arm this time. Two, one, here we go, sink it back. Make sure you go down into that squat with control. So you don't wanna just drop down there, use your muscles. Control the descent. As you can see here, I like reaching that opposite arm, the non-working arm reaches up and out as I lower, just to help keep that chest nice and tall. Very good. And then anytime we're using weight on one side of the body, we're working against that counter rotation. Sometimes we'll tend to kind of twist to one side or the other. So you wanna hold nice and strong, keep everything square. Good, control back. You might've got an extra 15 seconds on this one. I apologize in two, one, rest and rotate. Too much talking. Single arm row. We'll balance you out next round. All right, everybody. Right arm, two, one, here we go. Elbow up, reaching forward. Very good. What you know what the movement is, just turn your gaze, looking towards either the front foot or your non-working hand, head nice and neutral. Especially if your weight's a little bit lighter, you can create that habit of pausing in the top, hold it against the torso and then go into the next one. Two, one, and relax. All right, there's set one. I'm gonna do it twice more. Starting back with your left arm, back to that thruster. Three, two, one, here we go. On 
I'll give you a little 45 second exercise on this arm to balance out the opposite arm. Half, or no, 15 seconds in, we're gonna go another 30, just on this side. Good, that's 30 if you need to take an extra break. But if you went the full 45 on the other arm, trying to stay in there with us, good job. Control down, driving up. Midline nice and strong as you pushed overhead. Keep those ribs down and rest. Great job. That's the only one we'll do 45 of. Now we're balanced. Back to that single arm row on your left. Nice deep breath. And two, one, here we go. Head neutral, eyes looking straight ahead. Imagine that string attached to the back of the elbow, pulling that elbow straight up towards the ceiling, pausing in that top position. Reaching forward, rowing high, halfway. Very nice, ladies. Yep, elbow all the way up. Good. Two, one, and release. Good job. We're halfway through this circuit. Right on next. All right, we got 30 seconds on this one. Set those feet to one, and here we go. Control into your squat, driving up. It's called a thruster because the idea is to give a little hip thrust the last quarter of the squat to help guide that weight to overhead. So as you stand, you just think about engaging the glutes, just slightly driving those hips forward. Give that little lift. Shoulder to the ear, pushing nice and high. One to two more, great work. And transition, there you go. Right arm row, this is the end of set two. Go ahead and get into position. And three, two, one, here we go. Elbow high. Pausing in the top, reaching forward. Single arm rows are one of my favorite exercises. Really good for our shoulder and our mid back strength to help with our posture. Help us to stand tall and sit tall. Couple more here. Pause in the top, reach it forward, and three, two, one, relax. All right, let's give a 30 second break. Grab some water. We'll be back to our last round. If you want to challenge yourself on this last round, you can go a little bit heavier with the weight. If you feel confident to move a little bit faster, you could pick up the pace a little bit. <laughs> 10 seconds. All righty, left arm, three, two, one, here we go. Very nice. And if you're like, hey, I don't wanna pick up the pace, just look to maintain. Watch yourself talk, encourage yourself. So if you're talking to your friend or your daughter, Good job, less than 10. Nice high extension, pushing all the way through at the top. And rest and rotate, beautiful. Single arm row. Three, two, one, here we go. Pulling all the way through. as you reach, exhale as you row. Very nice, and keep pulling that belly button in nice and strong in the low back, racing through the midline, 10 seconds. And two, one, transition. Very good. All right, 10 seconds, thruster on the right arm. Last set of thrusters. Three, two, one, here we go. Good 
Good job. Eyes up, chest up. Nice, looks great, Sharon. Great overhead push, Jean. Yeah, Diane, good. 10 seconds, everybody. Two, one, rotate. Woo. And just that row. All right, go ahead and get into position. And two, one, begin. Chin in, eyes looking straight ahead, down at your foot or your non-working hand. And try to get that shoulder down out of the ear. So shoulder blade down the spine. Halfway. Very good. One more good one. Hold in the top two. One and release. Fantastic. All right, grab your water. We have one more circuit. 30 seconds, but 15 seconds work. We're going to start with either a single arm or an uneven weighted carry where you're going to have the first round, your left arm, if you have like two different weights, your left arm will either hold the heavy one. If you want to do a light one up on what we call the front rack position, you can hold one weight down at your side, one weight up at the shoulder, and we're going to march. 30 seconds here. From there, we'll set our weights down. We've got 15 seconds of transition, and we're going to come down to a plank, feet a little bit wider than the hips, and we're going to go plank shoulder taps. So I go one, shoulder one hand, the other. If you don't quite feel ready for that, you can just shift your weight and just gently lift the hands off the ground. Then we'll come up, farmer carry on the opposite side, then burpees, followed by either a longer rest, jumping jacks, rebounding, just get a little bit of blood flow. All right, so let me know if there's questions. Otherwise, we're gonna start here, 20 seconds. So grab some water. Again, you're gonna go carry, far. you can hold one object, or if you're gonna hold two, your right arm's gonna have the lighter weight. All right, everybody, 10 seconds. So left arm heavier, right arm lighter, or just hold on one side only. And here we go. You can stationary march, or depending upon your space, feel free to kind of walk around. Shoulder back, tall chest. And if you're holding one up the shoulder, you want to kind of keep that elbow up and forward. You want to keep that shoulder engaged. Nice. Fantastic. If you feel secure, you can even go forward walk and backwards walk. Three, two, one, and rest. Taking it down for those shoulder taps. If you get there early and want to start early, by all means, Wide handprint here, everybody. And one, two, one, here we go. Here we go, 10 seconds between movements. I know you guys that are here live pretty well. That should be plenty of transition. And as always, if you need more, just take it. Join when you're ready. You're not doing it wrong. You're just doing what you can today. We're halfway. As you place that hand down, really push nice and strong. Try to have as little shift of your hips and shoulders. So you almost want it to be like if someone's watching you, they don't even know you're raising your hand off the ground. And transition. Good job, making your way back up. This time you're gonna go right hand for your heavier weight, left for the lighter one. Again, if you wanna start early, feel free. Otherwise, here we go. The one that's holding the weight down low Make sure it's not pulling you forward. So you can even think about slightly turning your palm forward. Help keep that shoulder back. Nice. Over halfway, knees up, toes up, smile. And two, one, and transition. Good job, burpees are next. Again, if you wanna start early, you can. 
So I'm gonna show the no push up version. Here we go. So you come down to a plank, step up or hop to your feet. You can do a little jump to overhead. If you wanna go all the way to the chest for a full push up, you're always welcome to. Midline nice and strong. If you're stepping, remember to alternate those legs. 10 seconds. And two, one, and rest. Or feel free here. If you want to get a little rebounding action in, if you happen to have a little mini trampoline nearby, you could jump on that. Those are fantastic for blood flow and lymph flow. Keep our immune system strong and healthy. Woo! All right, we got 15 seconds. We're gonna be back to our uneven farmer carry with the weight, heavier weight in your left. All right, 10 seconds till we go. Let's grab our weights. Set two of three. Heavier in your left and whenever you're ready. Remember palms slightly forward on your bottom hand, elbow up and forward on the top hand. Beautiful. And think chest up, how tall can you stand? Halfway through. Good job, five seconds. Plank shoulder taps next. Two, one, transition. All right, everybody, wide hand print coming on down, pulling that belly button in. And whenever you're ready, we're gonna go from one shoulder to the other, or just simply kind of shifting your weight side to side. Having as little shift as possible. As you splay those fingers wide, grip those fingers down to support, and you can feel the arches of the hand activate. It's kind of really obvious when you're on one hand. Two, one, and transition. Come on up. Have your weight in your left, sorry, your right this time. Woo! Three, two, one, here we go. Elbow up and forward. Palm slightly forward, posture tall. Good job. Keep that breathing steady. We got burpees coming up next. That always gets the breathing higher. Now you would think it's not too hard to get on and off the ground. It's a really simple way for us to challenge our bodies with exercise, just getting on and off the ground. Two, one, and rotate. All right, burpees, feel free to go right to it. Otherwise, we'll officially start at 30 seconds in two, one. Here we go. Full push up or partial, step or hop. If you're hopping your feet up, really brace through your low back and you wanna think about floating your feet up. If you have any irritation or chronic issues of the low back, I definitely recommend stepping and possibly even from an elevated surface. So that would look like this. I place my hands like on the chair or the couch. Step up, step back. Two, one, and rest. Good job. Whew. One more to go. Feel free to get a little bit of rebounding action here. If you want a jumping jack, you can. Or I'm just gently bouncing up and down. If it's not appropriate for you to jump, you can just kind of lift the heels off the ground and just kind of bounce lightly on the balls of your feet. So you'll still get some good lymph flow there and it's not hard on your joints. All right, everybody, 15 seconds and we'll be into our final round. 10 seconds, go ahead and grab our weights. Your left hand has the heavier, right hand has the lighter. Tall chest and here we go, march it out. Nice. Breathe, smile. <laughs> it's a poor smile. <laughs> Show teeth, it's good enough for her, it's good enough for me. That's right, good job. 10 seconds. Getting ready for our final set of plank shoulder taps. Two, one, transition. 
Feel free to jump right into it. I'm gonna splay those fingers nice and wide. Feet are a little bit like about hip width apart. Here's the start of our 30. Pull that chin in so you're looking right down at your hands, looking straight between the wrists. Very good. Pulling that belly button in, having as little shift as possible. Halfway through. Fantastic. And two, one, going to make your way up. Final uneven carry. So your right hand has the heavy, left hand has the light. Tall chest, shoulders back, and join me when you're ready. Nice work. Remember, elbow up and forward if you're holding a weight at the shoulders. Beautiful. There's our halfway. Just burpees and our rebounding to finish. 10 seconds. Eyes up, keep those shoulders back and tall. Two, one, and transition. All right, feel free to go right into those burpees. Otherwise, we'll start our 30 seconds here. And three, two, one, here's the start of our 30. Finish strong now. Keep that breathing consistent. Alternate the feet if you're stepping. Midline nice and strong if you're hopping. Good job, everybody. 10 seconds. Woo! And two, one. Everybody come in for our final finish. All right, dance, jumping jacks, rebounding, final 30 seconds. Woo! Pretend you're at a party or a really good concert. Feel that energy. I'm sorry, a what? A really good concert, you know? I've heard if they have those anymore, I've heard of such 10 things. more seconds. Woo! And two. One, all done. Great job, everybody. Virtual high fives. Or in person with Tanya. <laughs> all right, let's grab a drink and then we'll do a little cool down stretch. We're gonna stay on our feet at first. All right, we're gonna start with our behind the back stretch. Bye, Diane, thanks for coming. Have fun. Root down into your legs. Bring those arms behind you. Extend out, nice deep breath, and then bowing forward as you feel. Get a little bend in those knees. Just allow your head to be heavy here. Holding strong in the midline. One more breath, and then on that exhale, root down into your legs, come on back up. Woo, a little dizzy there. From here, we're gonna go into that tricep side bend from a stagger stance. So your left foot forward, Right foot back, trail leg. So your right arm reaches up. Watch the posture here. So ribs down, bend the elbow, lengthen through your neck. So you grab that elbow and take it to the side three to five times on your own. Really feel that side body open. Feel it come up and through the hip flexor. I guess that's where I feel it. It'll feel a little bit different based upon who you are, where your body's holding tension. One or two more. And when you're ready, go ahead and release. Shake out those arms. And now we'll circle those arms before we go to the other leg. Don't worry, I won't forget that other side. Very good. And then when you're ready, your left foot steps back. Get yourself nice and stable with that lead leg. Reach that left arm up, ribs down, bend the elbow. Pull that chin in and lengthen through your spine. And then when you're ready, take it to the side. Breathe in and breathe out. Fantastic. Coming back to center. 
So you did forward arm swings. Now let's do backwards arm swings, like opening that chest. Spread the fingers nice and wide as well. And then we're gonna make our way down to the floor for the final stretch. If you wanna use, if you have a yoga block, if you wanna use it, we're gonna be doing a little bit of some side twisting so you can use the block if you'd like. All righty. So let's come down on your back. Pull those shoulder blades back in together. And we're gonna start by extending your left leg straight out and pull your right knee towards that right shoulder. And now actively push that left thigh down towards the floor. Open up through the groin area and go ahead and revisit those ankle rolls we did from standing earlier of the right leg. So about five times one way and about five times the other. And then when you're ready, gently bring your right leg across the body like you're trying to pull it towards the left shoulder to get a little bit into the glute here. Great time to just close the eyes, have your head turned up towards the ceiling and breathe. Go ahead and release that right leg and pull the left knee towards the left shoulder. Actively pushing the right thigh down, opening through the groin, and when you're ready, ankle rolls on the left. Three to five one way, and then reverse. After you finish those ankle rolls, bring that left knee across the body towards the right shoulder. Saying hello to that glute and hip area on the left. Relax the eyes and breathe for a couple cycles here. Very good. From here, let's put both feet down. We're gonna just go into bridge pose and then a little bit of a twist. So with the knees bent, feet flat, you're gonna gently lift those hips up, pull the chin down towards the chest and as able here, try to interlace the hands under the body and work those shoulders back and down. Really push through your heels as you fire those glutes. Good job, we're gonna get about another 15 seconds here. We're just inviting the front of the hips to open, pulling the chin down, lengthening the back of the neck. One more breath here. And then just very gently, like one segment of the time, start to lower your spine back down to the floor and relax. All right, last one here. We're gonna extend your right leg straight out, pull the left knee towards the left shoulder, and this is where we're gonna take it across the body. So take it across into a single leg twist. This is where I can put the block here underneath my knee of the left leg. And you can either stay here, or if you feel pretty confident with this twist and you wanna go a little bit deeper, take your left hand and look to grab your right foot. So you can stretch the quad at the same time. Head looks straight up towards the ceiling and breathe here. It's called a pretzel. It's like your body is in a pretzel. Good job. On the next breath, just gently start to come out of that twist, point the leg back across. Feel free to pull both knees in towards the chest in between sides. And then we'll finish on the opposite side. So we'll start by lengthening the left leg, taking your right knee across the body. This is where if you want to use your block, you'll put it right underneath the right knee. You can just take a moment here, allow your body to kind of wake up into this twist. And then if you'd like, right hand grabs that left foot for our body pretzel or pretzel. Hips and shoulders as square as you can. Good time to close those eyes and let's breathe for about three cycles here. Last time, feel the ribs elevate as you breathe in and feel everything relax as you exhale. Very good, just gradually coming out of that twist. Feel free to hug both knees into the chest, or it's a great time as well if you want to go into happy baby. Elbows on the inside of the knee, hands grab the shins of the ankles, 
And just as it sounds, we're gonna rocking ourselves side to side. Good time to smile and just imagine the carefree world of a little baby in the crib. Maybe they get to be like under the trees, looking up at the, on a blanket in the grass. All right, everybody, feel free to take some time here on your back. Anything else that your body might be asking for before you transition into whatever is next for you. Those of you here live, thanks for being here and hope to see you next time. Stay hydrated.